the legendary, the one and only Snoop Dogg is here. My brother is here. Look at him. He's back. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. He's back. Look at him. The That's biggest household name That's in America. Right they know him all over the world. The most famous rapper ever, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> He's here. He's here. Longevity, durability, <laughs> stability. He has it all, ladies and gentlemen. One and only Snoop Dogg. Oh, yeah. 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 Last night oh, come you. on, baby. You know what we do, Snoop. Come on, come on, man. I oh, saw 40 water. Your he son. Everybody in the crowd. Say, what's up to Snoop, though? Did he? He went ham on him, man, wow. in the front row, man. In the front row, sitting next to Chameleon there. Camille looking. And Travis Scott. And Travis Scott looking sad, Snoop. Mm, very sad. Oh, man. They just <laughs> needed a Kleenex. Oh, man. We put that West on them, threw that Boy, W up. You and, hear oh, me? Nah, they on, did it man. like this. They did two-hand You saw the two-hand W. I ain't seen that in a long time. Yeah, they went with the two-hand. Hand on him with the, we, we, yeah. When you do the two hand, you've been around it's for a minute. For real, that's a real, real, real. That's authenticity. Snoop Dogg is here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, 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 right, man. man. That goes the neighborhood. How you been, brother? Man, I've been working hard and hardly working, Sway. I mean, I'm on something completely different now. I see it. I see it. <laughs> yeah. And I peep it. Right. And that's one of the things I've always admired about you. Mm -hmm. You got to be able to keep reinventing, to keep going to that next step. Right. But your social media game is stupendous. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I'm on it like I wanted, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I didn't master that thing, man. I be having so much fun. And yeah. I, I love when people try to clown me because uh -huh. it gives me the opportunity to just dog your ass out. Oh, oh. I come after you, boy. Yeah. Because I can take it, you know what I'm saying? I can take it. Can you take it? Yeah, well, let me ask you about the, this is the one I want to ask you about, the the, the, the little girl that said a bunch <sighs> of stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, yeah, just some I just stopped that. You a pussy me. Put your heart back here. <laughs> Did you laugh at that? Well, I knew that it was uh, <laughs> Mental Awareness Month. <laughs> mental Health Awareness Month. Yeah, thank you for helping me, baby. I got you, my I, last. I knew it was that. Yeah. It yeah. was that. And, and my thing was, I didn't have no no larceny or no hate towards her. I was just like, they just don't know no better. They don't know no they better. They don't know no better. But at the same time, it's my job to be humble mm -hmm. and to not try to send a missile or to send somebody to slap the dog shit out of her. Yeah. But to just play my role in my position and just to be Uncle Snoop and let my nephews and nieces wrong their rights and right their wrongs. There it is. You know, it's interesting because Exhibit, <laughs> Exhibit was on um, Big Boy, right? And um, Big Boy asked him, you know, that's our family. Mm -hmm. You know, and Big Boy asked him, do you think hip-hop has gotten real disrespectful? And, and this is what Exhibit said. Do you feel... Like, hip-hop is disrespectful now. Hip-hop eats its young. Like, for example, I saw this little clip for this uh, little white girl with an AK and two little goofballs oh, next to well, her dissing you. Snoop Dogg. I think that it's, the lines are getting blurred between entertainment and risking your life. Yes. Mm. He said risking your life. And it's funny. I'm walking you well, up. He's talking about the old Snoop Dogg. The, the, old, the, <laughs> the new Snoop Dogg is saving your life. Life is saving <laughs> your life. But 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 it was funny because those same two people that was saying all that disrespectful stuff about the icon right here, ladies and gentlemen. Icon. He's a household name around the world. Eventually, they backtracked, and this is what they had to say. Hey, we just want to say that we apologize to Snoop Dogg. You know what I'm saying? Cause at the end of the day, we respect Snoop Dogg, cause he a real OG, you know. Yeah, shout out to Snoop. Like I'm part of, like I'm sorry for everything I said. I didn't like mean it like that. I make people happy, like do a funny video. That's what I do. And I'm sorry for everything I did, like towards you and towards everybody that's with your shit, whatever. You haven't heard that one. Sound like somebody had something on them. Yep. <laughs> I couldn't see it, but it sounded like, like a, and say this too, uh, and uh, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry, and I never meant to be no, uh, and, and, and what else I told you, and uh, and everybody on your set. You want to say that we apologize to Snoop Dogg, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we respect Snoop Dogg because uh -huh. he's a real OG. You know? Yeah, shout out to Snoop. Like, I'm yeah, sorry, you say, like, I'm sorry say for everything I said. I didn't like, mean it like that. What I, what I, I told people, you, nigga. Like, like, do a funny video. That's yeah. what I do. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry for wow. everything I did. Say it right now. I told you, I told everybody that's what you just said, nigga. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's Rodney. That's Rodney. That's Rodney for baby boy. 
Yo, man, it's <laughs> it's crazy, wow. you know. But I, I actually, um, I saw your your comments on it, and you you took it in jest, but you at the same time you let them know what it you is. Funky dog <laughs> head, way <laughs> bitch. Yeah. It just came out of me. Sometimes I can't control the the pimping Holy Ghost. It just comes out of me at times. You know, I try to restrain myself and do better. God work with me. Yeah. Bible of love, baby. Hey, Get it is. in stores now. Work with me. But what, what's going? And your your view. You're so on the pulse of everything mm -hmm. to me. Like you. Comment yes. if if uh, somebody has a rant, you comment on that. Ti, he's somebody too. I think that's in the soil. Right. You know, during the march, you know, you comment on politics, the right. president. You comment on that. What is your assessment on this divide that happens in rap when you hear a lot of the young ones say somebody like Tupac isn't was wasn't great or you know all these different comments we hear. You know, I try to bridge that shit the same way we did in our families when our right. uncles would talk to the nephews and everybody mm -hmm. in between. Like, we got wisdom for you. You know, uh, you got game for us. What do you think the problem is? So, uh, miscommunication. Yeah. Uh, speaking different languages. Mm. And no history. Mm. You know, that's what they've been doing to black people since day one. Mm -hmm. Now they just converted into hip-hop. You're not teaching about the greats. Yeah. How could you say he's great? We know he great because we grew with him. Mm -hmm. But the young generation ain't getting nothing but a few pictures, uh, a couple of stories, a couple of TV shows, but not really the insight on who this man was and what he meant to the industry and how if he was alive right now, him and Biggie both, yeah, this is what Snoop Dogg is. I'm the, the living example of what they would have been because these guys were well on the way to the path that I'm on right now mm -hmm. as far as understanding where they would be now. But since they were cut off, it seems like their history was cut off. And the history is not being passed down traditionally like it's supposed to to the young generation. When I was a young MC, everybody from New York that was the shit that was before me, mm -hmm. I knew them niggas, I respected them niggas. And when I ran across Cool Herc or Cool Mo D or Slick Rick or whoever the fuck I ran across, it was bow down. Mm. Bow down. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck if I sold five, six million records. It's bow down. Mm -hmm. When I first ran into EPMD, me and Dr. Dre did the Rosie Perez show. EPMD was my nigga. I love them niggas to death. Me and Dre only had deep cover. And I raced out of my dressing room to go say what's up to Eric and Parrish. Nigga, I love you niggas. My name's Snoop Dogg. I respect y'all, nigga. Bow down. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, because yeah. I was taught. Mm -hmm. But the teaching stopped. Hmm. Because, first of all, we didn't know how to teach. Yeah, yeah. My generation didn't know how to teach. We led by example. The generation before us taught. They taught hip-hop. The 70s and 80s, they taught hip-hop. This is what hip-hop is. This is what you sound like. This is what style is. This is what originality is. When we got it, we was like, fuck that. We breaking the rules. We doing our own shit. But yeah. we failed to teach. We failed to teach. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's being mishandled by the young generation because they've never been taught unless there was an uncle in the house, somebody that was older that was like, nah. Like ASAP Rocky mom. Yeah. Yeah. She raised him on this gangster shit. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? There's certain people, mamas, that just, oh, nah. You finna get this. Yeah. You finna get this work. Yeah. And you gonna understand it. So when you become a rapper, when you run across Snoop Dogg, give him his. Bow right. down. So in essence, it's part of our it's our fault then. It is. I mean, who you yeah. go you can't blame nobody else. And see, that's when you when you understand the, the mastering of yourself, you gotta blame self first. Yeah. And then once you blame self, then you can work on them. I'm working on me right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So while I'm working on me, when I get me right, then I'll be able to dialect and, and holler at y'all. But in the meantime, I respect y'all. Mm -hmm. Everything y'all doing, even the things that people say are whack or this and that, and that I respect it. Yeah. I'm not going to ever put a view out there like I used to and say, man, that style is whack, that's repetitive, that's this and that. Because at the same time, it's a new it's a new environment. When I was young, we had to be original. Mm -hmm. I couldn't sound like Heather B. I, you couldn't sound like me. Yeah, that's we right. out of here. Yeah. Dana Dane and Slick Rick was the closest two that sounded like. Mm -hmm. And we gave them problems like, which one is which? You understand what I'm saying? Now it's like everybody sound like everybody, but... It's acceptable. So what am I to do? Am I to say, well, I have a problem with it because this ain't what hip hop was based on? Well, hip hop has grown. If we was to say hip hop was to stay where it was, it would have never reached me in California. So let it continue to grow. Bow down. You know, it's interesting, man. Snoop Dogg is here. When you when you came here last year, uh, last time, uh, a couple years back, and I, I had asked you about the last time you saw Pac, mm. and you eloquently and emotionally told the story. You know, and then. Um, the movie All Eyes on Me came out, and they told me that that scene that they did in that movie, they were able to interpret it from the story you told on this show. Did you know that? Felt like it, right? Yeah. Like they listened to our interview and was like, we need to add that to the movie because that's, that's real. Yeah. It was real. And um, 
it, like I said, I was just talking to Howard Stern, man. Mm -hmm. and I was telling him that me and Pac had a misunderstanding before he passed away. And that always rubbed me the wrong way because that was really my friend. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have an opportunity to apologize or either to hear his apology or uh -huh. either just to get an understanding or a middle of the street. All right, we cool. I, I get that. So I had to talk to his spirit as opposed to talking to him. Mm. Mm -hmm. and, and it led me to believe that, you know, his spirit connected with me, but I didn't get a chance to get that reaction that I wanted. And that's always been like a stain in my life to where, you know, when you want to make sure that you write with somebody, you know what I'm saying? Even if you write and mm -hmm. they feel you wrong, you still want to give them the benefit of the doubt that, you know, it may have been some wrong in what I did. Yeah. So I feel you. And I never got a chance to do that. <clears throat> would, would you, what, what is your relationship like with Should? I love him. Yeah. Cool with him, uh, accept calls from him, trying to do something with him, trying to figure out a way to do the death row story with me and him. Mm -hmm. um, I love him. I appreciate everything he done for me, even the fact that he wanted me killed, mm -hmm. all of that, because I had to take it on the chin and made me who I am. And um, I expressed that to him. I'm a forgiving brother, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You try, but you miss, so we're going to move forward from that. Mm -hmm. And y'all were able to discuss that out. We had to. Me yeah. and him one-on-one -on -one in a room for about three hours. Mm -hmm. No security, no nothing. Just getting an understanding because this is a man that loved me like I loved him. Mm -hmm. It was just a matter of people and scenarios and situations and egos. Once you get past the egos, because if you watch the uh, Death Row Chronicles, I watched that on BET. Yeah. It was one particular moment that I watched him say, Snoop Dogg was the reason Death Row made money. Snoop Dogg is the reason we got cracking. Yeah. When that came out of his mouth, like, that blew my mind. Like, wow, he's... He's like really the hard guy to really get to give credit. Mm -hmm. Like he don't give credit unless he's like he have to give it up. Mm -hmm. And it's like that wasn't forced. That was just him being honest and being sincere because I healed and we healed together by me not having uh, uh, the attitude towards him when he was down. Yeah. I didn't kick him. I tried to help him back up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't like trying to knock him all the way off when I had him on one leg. When he was trying to knock me off on two legs. Mm -hmm. Snoop Dogg is here, man. We're going to open up these phone lines and come back. I want to play something from Bible of Love, you know, which is what What made you decide to do this album? Man, I lost my grandmother. And um, when I lost my grandmother, I used to go to her house in Mississippi. And she used to always have Jimmy Swaggart playing on the TV. And she loved Jimmy Swaggart. She gave that man at least $500 a day. What? At least. A day? At least. <laughs> Who's Jimmy, money? Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy got to make that $3 million every day. What? I didn't send Jimmy my money, so I'm just waiting to see if he going to get to that $3 million. Oh, Look at Jimmy's group. They sound so good up here singing. And mm -hmm. Jimmy's group was singing. It's the sons were singing, singing. Uh -huh. And I would come in there and see my grandmother, and I was like, damn, you know what? It's crazy that my grandmother has never heard any of my music. Hmm. Mm. That just blows Not my mind. Not one song. That just blows my mind. So I was like, you know what? I got to make something that she can listen to and her friends can be proud of. All these church ladies with these big ass hats on sitting mm -hmm. in the front row. You know, Auntie and them. I had to like pull out my bag and say, look, I was born and raised in the church. The first style of music I ever heard was gospel music. Mm -hmm. Let me take it back to the basics. Let me call up some gospel greats. Some Clark sisters, some John P. Keys, Fred Hammond, Patti LaBelle, Charlie Wilson, Rance Allen, et cetera, et cetera, and see if they really, with this getting on the battle line and on the front line and bringing a message to the world that needs it right now, the world that we're living in right now is full of negative hate, violence, death. So why not answer with love, peace, and happiness to give it an answer to the negativity. So it was just a thought out plan to make some music that my grandmother would be proud of, that everybody in my family could be proud of, that it was a record that you could play for the whole family and not have to say, well, wait till grandma leave, wait till, wait till mom <laughs> yeah, and them yeah. leave. Like, I hate that shit. Like, yeah. that used to bother me. Like, my music come on like, grandma, granny in there, turn that off. Yeah. I want to be able to bang that for granny. Now I know granny in heaven running around telling everybody. You see my grandson down mm -hmm. there? You hear his new album? Number one, six weeks in a row. Yes. God is good, I told you. Send him 500. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to open up the phone lines. 888-742-3345. Right. Love for God. God, hallelujah. Yes. 
Hallelujah. Open the phone line. Bible. We will be taking yeah, calls Bible and benevolent love. offerings right now. No, yeah, give, a little, give a lot give a, to make sure you leave something yes. in that part. And, and, and Jamie. <laughs> Reverend Calvin Brodus uh, once yes. again uh, yeah, no. <laughs> delivered an A selection. I surely did. And we will be serving wine with Pringles. And make sure you put something in that pot. And yes, we don't indeed. want singles. Indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> mm. If Jesus turned water into wine. <laughs> yes, he did. Two fish and seven barley loaves. That was the first sushi restaurant. Oh. Sushi. Sushi for Jesus. Oh, sushi for Jesus. Jamie Foxx just walked in. Oh. Hey, Lord, have mercy. That's when you sing from parts of your body. Hands him, Lord. Wow. When you sing thing. from your arteries. Yes. Hands him, Lord. That sing from your pancreas. Now, say it. I sing from my uh, 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 appendix. <laughs> Sang from my kidneys on New Year's. Ah, I gotta <laughs> sing from my kidneys. Then I had to do dialysis for four hours because I had a show Lord. in Albuquerque, New Mexico Lord. the next day. Lord, 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 <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Hey, hey, man, this is my family right here. I already so, know. This is my dog right here. The no, Jamie Foxx, Corinne Fox, they just walked my in. Man, better look man. at her, man. She's DJing. She's so used to me. Just... Wow. Remember when I remember when I had you shake a, the dude she was going out with oh, and had yeah. him shake him up one time? He didn't like that part. He's like, damn, that, your uncle was Snoop Dogg? <laughs> yeah, no, I fucked you up too, nigga. <laughs> Real quick, I'm nigga. I'm not kidding you. That ass? I can't Real date quick, nigga. anybody. No. I'm, I'm not kidding you, bro. Really? She, we had a little get-together, and her, you know, her, 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 her little man at the time was, I said, Snoop, shake this motherfucker. <laughs> What's up, girl? Let me at you. you. Have you seen Snoop and his, his bodyguard? Yeah, Come yeah, here, yeah. Girl, let me holler at you real quick, huh? Yeah. What you planning on doing my niece, huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh, nigga? Put your hands up, nigga. <laughs> Shut up. Turn around. <laughs> Where you from, cuz? Kid. Where you from, huh? cuz? Oh, you don't bang? <laughs> well, nigga, you do now. Because <laughs> you definitely ain't fucking with my niece like that. I'll fuck yeah, you up, nigga. That. What? Not kidding. Yo, what the kidding. dude do? what he do? No, you know what? He was, he, I mean, he didn't run. He ain't he had no run? freight. I, no. I appreciate it. But it, that was, she don't let me talk about that. That's what we yeah. do. It's been a struggle. It's been a struggle. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm dealing with yeah. here. Well, as soon as yeah. she walked in, I said, I'm on your neck. I'm your uncle. Yeah, man. You got, I mean, because she's so beautiful, so pretty, yeah. and, and just, you know, so smart, man. And, and and just, you know, every time I see her, you know, I get I get misty. I'm like, yeah. and we, we both got, that's crazy. We, 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 we Our both baby got girls kids. is growing, like, up. growing yeah. up, man. And then baby girls, when they start growing up, you feel a different way because yeah. at the same time, you like, you just want her to have the best. Yeah. Yeah. You want her to have somebody like you, but they don't. Only made one of me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that yeah. is right. Yeah. yeah, that's real. That is right, man. <laughs> mine, mine, 19 now. So uh, you see, you it's see, crazy, man, right? And you got a daughter? Daughter. Jamie, we all she's punished, a beautiful right? daughter. See? Mm. Everything we did. Well, let her know her <laughs> uncle is protecting her, too, so all you <laughs> niggas <laughs> looking at her, stop, nigga. God damn right, nigga. Let me throw my Knock niggas in off. there, too. You heard that, Kiyomi? <laughs> throw 12 Kiyomi, niggas Kiyomi, this your Uncle Snoop. Holla at me. I'm going to make sure everything all right. He better not say one mother. Fucking weird. Fucking thing. <laughs> Dead ass serious Shit. too. I'm add not, some I'm more not niggas on there. <laughs> that thing, go ahead, Jamie. Just add a gang in there. I just want to say niggas twelve times to catch up I don't with like Snoop. Like that shit, right, my nigga? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Nigga, please. Nigga, please. I tell the story all the time. Me and Snoop, real friend. I tell the story all the time. He came to my house on Christmas Eve. It was a Christmas Eve. It's out of the blue on like 97. So I, I, the phone, the, my buzzer rang. I said, what's up? Hey, what's up, cousin? I said, what's up, nigga? I, who's that? And I looked in my, uh, uh, in, my, in my thing, my view, whatever the fuck they call it. And he was in a Porsche. He had a blue Santa Claus hat on with uh, some Moet and orange juice. And the night ensued. Did it? Man, fuck it. To, and, man. and then Snoop, he had a dude to just roll. Uh huh. That motherfucker don't say nothing. He just roll this shit up. It look like logs and shit. And then we smoke. Oh, Snoop smoke. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was. Okay. Snoop smoke. The smoke know, hit his face because he was so close. Yeah. When he was trying to hit, let me hear the song that we was about to get yeah. on, he had to get over my shoulder. This is the part I want you to get on right here. <laughs> and remember, we, and then we hooped. We did. Uh, this motherfucker, he, they're going to have to do a special uh, <laughs> autopsy on this dude on how he can smoke that much weed. And then we hooped outside for like four hours. I said, what kind of lungs does this nigga have? Super lungs. This the nigga kind they don't sell in the store. The Adventures of Super Lungs. Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, man, have y'all done anything musically? In, yeah, in we did, yeah. yeah, we let did me, a song that night. Baby, uh -huh. let me holler at you. Yeah. 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 Trying, trying to throw, throw these dollars, dollars at you. At you. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that was yeah. a long time. Ago. But this is the thing, though. We did the song. One of us was so high, we don't remember it. <laughs> and I called somebody. I said, you remember that song? What song, guy? 
He said, we did a song. We did a song. Yeah, and I sent it to him, and it was on his album. It made the album. It was the yeah. last day to put a song on the album. Yeah, and he man. said, we did a song. I said, we did. <laughs> I said, send me that motherfucker so I can put it on the album. Yeah, we man. finna close the deal. Yeah, man. Oh, real man. real friends over here, man. One thing real about friends. Jamie, though, that y'all got to know is that he has been the epicenter for parties in Los Angeles oh, yeah. oh, for a long God. time. Like, yeah. he's been the safe haven for having a yeah. great party, great yeah. entertainment, and he's always been yeah. able to open his home up and yeah. got to give him respect for that because when yeah. you open your home up you, you open your home up to a lot of things that you don't really know but he's always yeah. been the great host and he just did a party last year for his birthday where he put he oh put my miami God. in california i gotta say it you killed that dog man, that we, man. Killed, we we rebuilt live because oh, I always said what? I wanted when I die I wanted them to carry my casket through live <laughs> <laughs> just the whole I just because it's just an amazing time I just yeah. love that shit so we rebuilt live and I flew motherfuckers from Miami just so they could see live in L A oh. and the shit was we had what's my nigga, man's name the nigga Ice Cube said. I heard payback's a motherfucking nigga. nigga. Oh! That's it. Nigga, I ain't never heard him do that song, nigga. He performed? He performed, Man, oh, oh, nigga. nigga. listen to me. They I was a nigga up. background dancing and shit like, <laughs> nigga, like Jinx, nigga. Like, nigga, that Jinx. Was Did you say Jinx? Yeah, Jinx. nigga, I was Sir Jinx, nigga. Did you say Sir Jinx, nigga? Like, nigga, that nigga Nigga, Sir Jinx. Hey, listen, man, the party was crazy. Everybody there, my whole family, everybody mm. was there. Leonardo, I mean, everybody. And then fucking uh, uh, Mace came out. Mace? Yes. Wow. yes. Snoop yes. Tuck yes. laced it. Yes. Ducky Fresh hit. Yes. And yes. then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, nigga, I seen that black leather jacket with that motherfucking hat and, and Ice Cube said here's a little story about a nigga like me never, never should have been, been let out to penitentiary Ice Cube would like to say that, that I'm a crazy motherfucker, motherfucker from around the way since I was a youth huh, I smoke weed out now I'm the motherfucker that you read about yeah play that shit <laughs> hey! we got Jamie Foxx yeah. Corinne Foxx Knuckles yeah. 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 Because of that line, I might be your cellmate. It's from the nigga you love to hate. Oh, oh man. Oh, my God, nigga. Damn, Damn man. God. Shit. I know that nigga lyrics better than mine. Man. Oh, man. I need a teleprompter on stage. But when that nigga <laughs> rapping, I know all that nigga all lyrics. All that. I told Dub C, if you ever get tired, just hand me the mic. I got him, girl. <laughs> <laughs> what, what you got, Jamie? No, nigga. What happened? No, no, no. I just... oh, oh, that's a message? Yeah. Okay. No, hey man, while I got y'all here, man, I, man, I was hoping Snoop, man, and Jamie, man, Jamie, you, you one of the most, you know, underrated, reputable hook singers in the game, man. Hey man, we gonna yeah. get after it right after this. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, do, it's relax fit jeans, man. Okay, we gonna get it. It's okay, pretty main thing. All you do is add water. In that okay. Bit. Just throw add some water to it. Wonder to see what happened, man. Them. I thought maybe we could have something. Can we do something fun with it? Snoop, maybe you could do something. Jamie, come in with a hook. Wow, wow, wow. Sway in the morning, Shade 4 5 exclusive. Uh, Shade 4 5 Bound exclusive. To in the get morning. you on your knees. Get him up, dog. Mm. Oh, I'm waiting on I'm waiting on that. Here we go. Here we go. Don't listen get to him this. Get him up. Get him up, dog. Bound to get you on your knees. Yeah. Yeah. Hennessy and smoking weed with Snoop. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's mm. what we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me Hit break Snoop. it down. Snoop Dogg. It's like Shade 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. Snoop Dogg and Jamie Foxx on my side. Yeah. I got sway to the right. Heather B, where you at? Yeah. Snoop Dogg about to drop a rap. Yeah. I come back with the scratch from the DJ. Wow. See when I rock, they say what he say. Wow. It's Snoop Dogg, S and double O P. Wow. Jamie, wow. you see me? Ooh, we S N E L boy. Let me break it down and show you my skills, cause Ooh. I can do it for real. But then I chill. Yeah. They had something on the internet about a white girl, but I didn't get upset. I yeah. just chilled. White bitch. Paid it no attention and kept to my mention or my mission. It really didn't matter because right about now my pocket's getting a little fatter because I sat up down and I gave her some game. I said, don't you ever disrespect my name because yes. I'm the one, the only, the S, the homie. Huh. And if you do that, I'll leave you stony. That means you'll be on the block by yourself yeah. getting shot and you might not make it to your block, so do not talk about S N double O P cause you will be D E A D, you feel me? About to get you on your knees. Get you on your knees, yeah. Hit my sea and smoking weed. Hand dog, hand dog. Snooze. Hand dog, hand dog. Hand dog, what's the boss dog? Hand dog, what's the boss dog? 
Oh, it's swaying in the morning. That's what it is. Watch this real quick. Talk to him, Snoop. Wake your ass up. It's swaying in the morning. I brushed my teeth and now I'm yawning. I jumped in the Sprinter van heading down the streets trying to get to the radio station to get complete. Yes. Mm. I stopped to get me something to eat at the store. I stopped to talk to a cute little hoe. <laughs> she say, Snoop Dogg, can I go? I said, nut, 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 no. no so then I kept pushing on to the spot. And when I got there, I had to drop it like it's hot. Oh. I had some dope in my pocket, then the cops put me over and they said, Snoop, can we have a shot? Oh. A shot, you mean a picture? Get it. Take it real quick so I can get rid of all of this smoke in my pocket. Go upstairs with Howard Stern and burn, cause it's my time to learn. Let me show you how we go when I'ma steal the show. It's the morning show on the radio. Shade 4-5, yeah. sway do it up. What? Have the B in the cut, we about to fuck it up. Jamie, Jamie Fox to the left, and I'm so deaf. I can do this shit until I run out of breath. Goddamn. My breath smell good cause I brushed with some motherfucking chronic this morning. Can you smell that? Mm. There's nothing more left to say. Sing it to me, dog. Up in the morning with my nigga sway and my nigga snooze. Wow, wow, wow. What yes, you yes. wanna do? Hold down, baby. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah! yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Don't make us change careers. Damn it. Now. Bible love in stores now. Thank you, Jesus. Say that. Thank you, Jesus. Snoop Dogg presents the Joker's Wild. Yes. Air Sundays on TBS, yes. 10 p.m. Yes. season two. Yes. Right. Thank you for having me. The latest song he put out for dedicated to his mothers and his family. Yes. yes. Snoop Dogg, ladies and gentlemen, the right. legend. Right. The icon. Right. Family double. All right, man, we're going to come back with Jamie Foxx, Kareem yeah, Foxx. Yeah, Snoop, thank you for here. coming hey, by. Hey, hey, love you, Snoop. Who did those you, things right here? Who put oh, those pulled, numbers together? I put that off your. I pulled that off your 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 page. Oh, you like that, huh? Yeah, I like that. I was gonna ask you about it, but I, we didn't I get to. I could have gave it. myself a hundred, but I didn't want to be biased yeah, like that. Yeah, I kept yeah, it they, real. They did a rating of people. Uh, you know, they they flows, they lyrics. You know, oh, Biggie yeah. got ninety nine on yeah. flows uh -huh. out of a hundred. Snoop uh -huh. got ninety four, ninety eight yeah. on hooks and vocals. Uh -huh. Pac got ninety nine yeah. on lyrics and flows. Uh -huh. Look yeah. at that, Jamie. Jay Z got ninety six yeah. on flows That's and lyrics. Right. <laughs> Jay Z's you know? crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Kendrick got ninety six. You know, Ice Cube they gave him ninety five on yeah, lyrics yeah. and flow. Uh, Nas got 99 and 98 on lyrics. All I'm saying is that if you in this patch right here, you in the top 10. You in the top 10. Right yeah, MCs. Is. Not this ain't got nothing to do with the 80s. This ain't about the 80s. It's just all all it's together. Anytime. Anytime. Uh, yeah, Anytime. all together. It'd, it'd be Anytime. too hard to rate you rappers from the 80s. There's too many of y'all that was too good. I'm yeah, sorry. There it right. is, right? Snoop, thank you for coming right. by. Thank y'all for having love me, man. man. I, I love y'all too, right. man. Uh, hey, what I want to say this, I want to say this, man. For y'all with erectile dysfunction. Uh huh. Get it together, man. Okay, there it is, man. All right, Shade Four Five.